nature, many things self-assemble. Flowers start as tiny seeds and follow a natural progression until they reach their beautiful mature forms. Rocks and crystals also form by self-assembly, with tiny molecules rearranging into complex three-dimensional geometries all on their own. Motivated by this phenomena, Dr. David Gracias and his students at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, developed a novel way of transforming two-dimensional shapes into very precise three-dimensional objects. Consider, for example, the construction of a paper cube. Dave, a senior in Dr. Gracias' lab, attempts such a feat. He begins with six cutout squares. By carefully taping the squares together to form sides, Dave is eventually able to make a cube although it takes him a few minutes and it has many imperfections. Tim, on the other hand, is a graduate student, and he takes a very different approach. He simply cuts out a single shape, which he then easily is able to fold into a cube, saving a lot of time. In the laboratory, we use a process from the computer chip making industry called photolithography to make our 2D shapes on a miniature scale. First, a mask is created. It is used to expose a specially prepared silicon wafer and the areas that are hit by the light dissolve away. This leaves a mold behind which is filled with metal, forming the cube faces. This process is repeated, connecting the faces with another metal that functions as the hinges. Once the two-dimensional structures have been prepared, they are heated until the hinges begin to melt. As the hinges melt, they ball up in order to minimize their surface area, and since they are attached to the square faces, this brings the faces together and eventually forms a cube. This project demonstrates the use of these polyhedral containers for chemical encapsulation, remotely guided chemical release, and spatially controlled chemical reactions. Chemicals held within these containers can be released remotely, allowing for controlled drug delivery or on-site chemical reactions. Because the containers are made of metal, they can be remotely guided with a magnet. Combining these two features, chemicals can be remotely released while they are guided along a desired path. This project demonstrates the hierarchical self-assembly of complex polyhedral microcontainers, such as the dodecahedron shown here. Polyhedral microcontainers that approach a sphere are especially attractive for biomedical applications, such as drug delivery in the body. Shown here are the two-dimensional templates prior to being self-assembled. Each face of the container can have unique surface patterning. And bead encapsulation within the dodecahedral containers has been demonstrated. This project demonstrates an alternative to surface tension driven self folding. This new strategy utilizes thin film hinges that allow self-assembly to be triggered on demand in water using relatively low temperatures.
This project demonstrates mass-producible micro-grippers that can be remotely triggered by temperature or chemicals under biological conditions. These micro-grippers utilize the previously mentioned thin film hinges. To demonstrate controlled remote movement, two magnets were used to guide a micro-gripper from one opening of a spiral tube to the other. This movie shows a micro-gripper being remotely moved towards a blue bead using a magnetic stylus. Once over the bead, the micro-gripper is triggered to close by slightly heating the solution. After capture, the micro-gripper with the bead is moved away using the magnet. This movie demonstrates the remote manipulation of a micro-gripper into a capillary tube and remote retrieval of cell mass that is dyed with red stain. The movie highlights the applicability of the micro-gripper to capture living cells, such as in a biopsy. A hypothetical future biomedical application for these micro-grippers is controlled movement throughout the body to carry out non-invasive procedures, such as a biopsy. This project demonstrates micro-grippers that can be remotely opened and closed by chemical cues. These micro-grippers can effectively move objects from one location to another. The last project that we'll discuss demonstrates a new strategy to construct complex 3D pattern structures by self-assembling 2D sheets that have thin film hinges. As an example application, these sheets can be used as microwells for cell culture.